let's talk about who comes knocking. You, you leave, you're a free agent in all, all respects. You're you know, financially secure. You can do whatever you want. You cannot work if you choose not to. Uh, read that you traveled to 30 plus countries. And who's pursuing you along the way? Um, w did you get involved with Bono's one campaign first? Before, no, uh, he, before, he, uh, he called me um, the day after I got fired. I have a long relationship with him for 20 some odd years. Great guy, great man. And I really great respect for what he does. And he just called and said, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> he says, this is your great, great part of your life's about to start. And by the way, um, think about it a little bit, but I could use a little help on some of the things I'm doing in my sort of humanitate humanitation, uh, I'm not humanitation, humanitarian world. And I said, you know, I'm going to take a little trip. I'll give you a buzz when I get back. So uh, I ended up, um, he had a thing called the One Campaign, which had a couple million members. It was an advocacy group for against poverty. There was a thing called Product Red he had launched, which was a very innovative business model, which if he knew anything about business, he would never would have tried it. But it did work, and it's made so far almost a couple hundred million dollars for the global fund for AIDS and malaria and TB. But they were kind of dysfunctionally organized, and he asked me if I could come in just sort of and as a management consultant, essentially, and kind of you know fix them because there was some serious problems. They were about to embarrassingly fall apart. So I did that one at a time, and then he said, Would you? and I got to really know people in a whole other world. I spent a lot of time in Washington with uh, groups of young people. It reminded me of being back at MTV, but these people are sort of in the DC sphere. It was a whole new world for me. I found it very exciting. You know, it was a whole alternate universe. And uh, I enjoyed that, so he said, why don't you go on the board, lead, be, the, be the head of the board for one, you know, and uh, help assemble a new board, and then be on the board of Red, so I've been doing both of those things for some time for him, and they've been very fulfilling and interesting, and uh, um, you know I'm very happy to do it. Well, sure. Product Red's raised a couple hundred million dollars, but I would say that the One Campaign, which is essentially their job, is to lobby G8 and now G20 countries to live up to commitments to the to the developed world. Um, they've raised tens of billions of dollars. These people by making cases to politicians, by putting pressure on them. It's, it's sort of an untold story. And he's a guy who can get access to anybody. I mean, he got $45 billion out of President Bush. Um, $45 billion for PEPFAR and uh, um, you know, various AIDS programs.